Oh, look at that volcano down at the bottom, dude. <laughs> what you <laughs> You ever watch Charlie's Angels? No, I didn't watch Charlie's Angels. Oh, you we're supposed to spray it? No, I'm just doing it. What's going on, my good people? Today, we're talking wheel cleaners. Mike Hidalgo and my good friend JR today. What's up, baby? And in front of us, we have two of our favorite products which are available on fcpro.com, both the Sonex and the GM wheel cleaners. We're gonna take you through the steps of how to use them by the book and how you may use them if you are a, perhaps a distracted father of a two-year-old daughter. From, from there, we're gonna go ahead and take you to JR's car. Yeah, so I have this E46 M3 behind me that just went to the track. So we'll show you on these really dirty wheels what it looks like if you just spray on the product let it sit and spray it off, and also what it looks like if you actually agitate it with some brushes that are also available on fcpro.com. So let's just hop right into it and show you how these products work. So starting with the specific instructions on the actual bottle, one of the main things that's different here with the Gion product versus the Sonax is that you have to spray the wheel down first before you use this product. So I'm gonna get going with that, spray the wheel down, get all the deposits off, and we'll show you how this actually works. So do some pressure, there we go. You can spray it on kind of as much as you like, as dirty as you will is. Of course, you're gonna need more. And almost immediately, especially on the rotor here, you can see it starting to work and turn purple. It's not always gonna be the most pleasant smell, but that's kind of what you're gonna get used to, especially if you're gonna use wheel cleaner regularly. It's not very offensive of a smell, but it definitely kind of stinks. A smelly smell that smells. And also one more little tip, you can spray it on the tire and wash it off the same way as well. It will clean up your tire just a little bit, but it's not a specific tire cleaner, so it won't give you the exact finish you're looking for. All right, so our time has elapsed here. We're just gonna spray away and see what happens afterwards. And that's it. So even without actually putting a brush or any sort of actual other products on the wheel here, we have a pretty nice finish at the end. And I think that's a strong result from the Gion. So let's hop over to Mike and show what we can do on the other side with the Sonax. My good people, we got the Sonax and unlike Cheater JR, I am not gonna be pre-rinsing the wheels as Sonex doesn't need that. We're gonna go ahead and put some gloves on. They do recommend that, especially if you have sensitive skin. It might cause a little burning sensation. Wait, what? Again, JR, a burning, you know, he doesn't always do the best job reading instructions. A burning sensation? And just like Sonex asked for, we're in the shade, we're working on a cool, dry wheel. No pre-rinse needed. We got our glove on. We're gonna go ahead and hit the areas with some spray. If there's any buildup on any specific part of the wheel, you want to hit it a little bit harder, and then we'll give it three to five minutes, and then we'll rinse it off. Just like the Gion, it's an iron decontaminator. You're gonna see it start turning a purple, uh, deep red color almost. The smell is just as bad, but uh, out of the two, I would argue this one smells a little bit better. Of course you would, bro. Yes, it does. Not only does it smell better, but it's also a bit sudsier out the bottle. Now we're gonna go ahead and give it three to five minutes, and then we'll come back with the pressure washer and rinse it off. One thing to keep in mind is, as you can see, JR keeps his car really filthy, so I used about a quarter of a bottle on this front left wheel. So just keep that in mind. If you track your car a lot, you're gonna need a lot of this product, whether you're using Sonex or Gion. It's just the way of the road, baby. Way of the road, buddy. Now we get ready to rinse. You can use this with just a garden hose or a pressure washer. Of course, a pressure washer is gonna give you better results, but we're gonna go ahead and give it a rinse now and see what we're left with.
Now, as you can see, we still have a little bit of rubber left behind on the wheel. Again, we did this without agitating the wheel at all. We simply sprayed on and rinsed off. And unlike the Gion, there was no pre-rinse needed. Uh, you would almost argue that the pre-rinse would dilute the effectiveness of the Sonex. So overall, not bad, but you can definitely see our wheel is still a bit dirty. But if you were on a quick run and go like JR usually is, this is going to be perfect. Major burn. And now with that, we're going to go ahead and try both products out on the rear wheels with some wheel brushes. And then once we're done with that, we'll pull it out into the sun and see what the results are. We're done with the front wheels on the spray and wash away method. Now we're going to get onto agitating with the same products. So I grabbed some wheel brushes off the shelves. This is the Gion, lets you get in the barrels real nice. Dude, you got the best barrels ever, dude. And then these pair of Griot's brushes let you get into tight spaces just as nice. So we're going to rip these open and get to cleaning. Spray on, let it sit for, you know, three to five minutes as well. But once you hit that mark where you would wash the wheel off, instead, get your brushes going and agitate the surface and get them nice and clean. So while the instructions don't mention a water bucket, I like to mention the reason I like to do this, like I said, is so that you don't just have all the heavy contaminants sitting on your brush for the whole time you're cleaning your wheel, so when spreading them around. But when you dip it in the water, it gets that crap off, and you go back in with a cleaner brush to get the rest of the wheels. And that's pretty much it. Look at that. Yeah, but he probably had to look at it and say, look at that. And I Before we even rinse off, we're working with a really nice looking wheel here, and we'll just finish the job, of course, rinse, and we'll be good to go. That is a really nice finished product here. Yeah, baby. On to the next side, we'll let Mike do the same thing again with the Sonax product and agitate it with the brushes and show you what that looks like on the other side. All right, unlike, uh, I don't wanna say Cheater JR on the other side, but we're not gonna be using any buckets. We're not gonna be using any additional dilution here. Uh, we're gonna stick to Sonax again, in the shade, cool wheel, dry wheel. We're gonna go ahead and spray our product on. And then once this hits peak frothiness, it makes it light and frothy. We're gonna go ahead and use the same wheel brushes. We'll do the same cleaning process as JR did with the Gion on the other side. We'll give it a rinse and we'll see what we're left with. And there we have it, a beautifully clean wheel using less buckets and less water. Now let's roll it out into the sun and see what these wheels actually look like in real light. All right, here we are with the wheels all clean. Car looks pretty good. And we're just gonna go around and check out the actual details here. From a quick side-by-side -side looking at the Sonex side, you can still see a vast difference between the front wheel and the rear wheel. However, if you go over to the Gion side and we compare, you would argue the difference is uh, about the same. Yeah, it's pretty minimal. And one thing to notice, we actually notice this on both sides, the front wheel looks a little less vibrant than the rear wheel, and that's probably because we actually agitated it. Oh, really? Um, so even on with the different products, actually getting a brush in there and really getting the barrels and all the faces makes it look way better. So now we're here on the other side of the car where we use the Gion. I know what I think. What do you think, Mike? I think that the results are pretty damn good considering that the front wheel was worst case scenario. Again, for a spray on and rinse off, it's going to be the best result, especially if you're in a quick in and out situation versus the rear wheel. You have a little bit more time and a couple more supplies to go ahead and agitate and scrub. You're going to get an excellent result, which with either product that you use. And with that said, again, both fantastic products to work with from an extreme situation to a best case scenario. They both do an excellent job. 
I think for my next wash, I'll try the Gian. And I'll try this bad boy out. If you like this video, my good people, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments on what we did today or the products that we use, leave those in the comment box below. And if you like this video and you want to see more like them, please consider subscribing. We make new ones all the time. As always, thank you for watching. We'll catch you in the next one.